So one of the most common questions I've had from you guys across my previous videos has been, is there a way that you can switch between listening to an audiobook and reading an ebook and then pick up in exactly the same place as you left off? A lot of people want to be able to do this. So I've done a little digging, a little research, and I've discovered that there is a service called WhisperSync and it's an Amazon service. So you can go from listening to an audible audiobook to reading the book on Kindle. So yes, the service does exist, however, only specific books are included. So today we're gonna cover all the details. So firstly, I love that you guys are asking this question because it makes complete sense. Like sometimes I'll be driving, listening to an audiobook, and then in the evening I want to actually read it rather than listening to it. So the idea of being able to pick up exactly where you left off to me, that makes complete sense and I love that idea. So the service that Amazon offers is called WhisperSync for voice. And basically, like I said, this allows you to go between listening to an audiobook on Audible and reading it on Kindle. Now, the most important thing to know is that not every single book is included in this service. Again, it's select books that Amazon has picked that you will be able to do this with. So of the over 200,000 books that are actually available on Audible, there's only about 60,000 that are available for this service. So there might be some books that you want to do this with that you just can't. I'm gonna pop a link in the description box down below that takes you to the webpage that shows you exactly which books are included. But will your progress actually be saved? Yes, your progress is saved when you move from the audiobook to the Kindle ebook, your notes, your bookmarks are also saved, but only so long as you've purchased both versions. So you need to have purchased both the Kindle version, the ebook, and the audiobook. But how do you actually do that? <laughs> so what's really important when you're using this service is to make sure you're definitely on the right web page that you're gonna be able to see the options that you need. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description box down below that will take you straight to that page. And the page on Amazon is called the Kindle Books with Audio Companions page. So if you're ever not able to find it, Google that and hopefully you'll be able to take straight to the right page. But again, I will link it down below for you guys. And then basically the next thing you need to do is to click on the book, choose Kindle edition, and then you're gonna go to add it to your basket and make sure you tick the box that says add audible narration. So make sure you've ticked that so that you're actually getting both. And then once you've purchased it, it should show up in your library on Audible and Kindle for you to download. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, I really would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So the next thing we need to talk about is the cost. Do you pay more? And obviously you do. <laughs> Same way you pay more for literally everything. You do pay more if you wanna get the audiobook version and the ebook. So when you use this service, you pay for the Kindle version. And just so we're clear, that means you can read it on a Kindle or you can read it on the Kindle app. So you can do it on any smartphone as well as actually having Kindle. And most Kindle books that I have found are between about $4.99 and $9.99. That's kind of typical ebook price. And then to add on your Audible narration is typically around $4.99. But again, it depends on the book, depends on the length of the book, how new it is but that's roughly what I find from my research. So as for what devices you can use, most Kindle devices support WhisperSync, so you can use this on most Kindle devices as well as most smartphones that you're able to download both the Kindle app and the Audible app on. But again, I will include a link in the description box down below that gives you a full list of devices that actually support this so that you can make sure before you purchase anything. So what about returns? So honestly, as far as I can tell, it seems to work the same way as it does with Kindle books and also with Audible audiobooks. And that's basically that you can return titles. It is possible to do that but you obviously can't take advantage of the system and return tons or they will flag that you're just listening to them or reading them and then returning them to get your money back and just continuously doing that and they can then stop your account or stop you from buying any more. But let's say you buy one and you're like, eh, this is rubbish, I don't want this anymore. You can actually return it and get your money back, which is pretty good. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys find this helpful. If you have not yet seen these videos, I highly recommend you go and check them out for more information and leave me any potential videos you wanna see in the future in the comments section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.